experiment is to study different types of animal tissues that is striated muscles non striated muscles cardiac muscles and nerve fibers from permanent slides and you should be able to draw the diagrams as well material required would be permanent slides of striated muscles non striated muscles cardiac muscles and nerve fibers and along with this you will need a microscope to see those slides under the suitable magnification so when you will see the slide of a striated muscle fiber under the microscope you will see something like this let us now discuss what are the detailed features of striated muscle fibers these muscle fibers are long cylindrical non tapering and unbranched as you can see in this image you cannot see any branching here and they are cylindrical in nature with the presence of striations all over striations are the bands that you can see the yellow and the brown bands that are visible in this diagram and that is why these muscles have been given the name striated muscles each cell has many nuclei and these nuclei are located towards the periphery that means towards the outer boundary of the cells and every muscle fiber is surrounded by a membrane the membrane surrounding the muscle fiber is known as sarcolemma and the cytoplasm is known as sarcoplasm so sarcoplasm is the cytoplasm that is present in the striated muscle fibers and sarcolemma is the outer membrane that surrounds the cells of the striated muscle fibers these muscles are also known as the skeletal muscles or the voluntary muscles because these muscles are basically found attached to the skeleton and they are totally under our control so the movement of your arms the movement of your legs the movement of your head it's all because of the skeletal muscles or the striated muscle fibers next comes in the smooth muscles so the smooth muscles are also known as the non striated muscles because as you see in the image this is the microscopic view of the smooth muscle fibers and you cannot see any striations or bands here this is the diagrammatic representation of the smooth muscle fibers so as you can see the cells are spindle shaped with a prominent nucleus in the center and there are no striations there are no bands light and dark bands are not present these muscles are involuntary in nature involuntary means these are not under our control so the movement of the internal organs like the food pipe the urinary tract it's all made up of smooth muscles and you cannot control the movement of these muscles these are beyond our control these muscles are also found in the blood vessels and the elementary canal as i gave you the example of stomach already next comes in the cardiac muscles so the word cardiac is associated with the heart so these are muscles which are exclusively found only in the heart if you look at the image here this is the microscopic view of the cardiac muscle so the blue spots that you see these are the nuclei and these muscles they are branched and they form sheets if you look at this like this is a cross connection between this strand and this strand so sheets of cardiac muscles are formed talking more about the specific features of cardiac muscles these muscles are branched they the cells are branched that i have already told you the striations are very faint so you can see the bands present but the striations are very faint as compared to the striated muscles also uh, these muscles are found only in the heart and they are involuntary in nature you cannot control the pumping of your heart you cannot make it beat faster you cannot make it slow down because cardiac muscles are not under your control also every cell has one single nucleus present in it so we can say the cells are uninucleate also another specific feature of cardiac muscle is the uh, amazing strength that it has it never gets tired it starts working even before the birth of a person and continues working uh, continuously till the person dies so what is the reason behind this it is because the cells of the cardiac muscles have an extraordinary number of mitochondria present in it which continuously generate a lot of energy in the form of atp that help it to function well this image shows you the nerve fibers so the nerve fibers are made up of cells like this so you, as you can see the cell is like a star shaped structure with a tail behind it and the star has branchings let us discuss more in detail about the structure of the nerve cell each cell of the nerve uh, tissue nervous tissue 
is known as a nerve cell or a neuron so as you can see the blue structure here this is the main cell body also known as the cyton and it has branches coming out of it these branches are known as the dendrites which help in collecting the impulses and then there's a long tail like structure which is known as the axon which carries the impulses forward either to the next neuron or to the muscles that are responsible for creating a response also on the axon there is a sheath of myelin which is a kind of protein which acts as an insulator and helps in quicker transmission of the impulses down the uh, neuron at the end again the axon branches out into a number of fine thread like structures these are known as the nerve endings so the nerve endings they transmit the message to the next neuron or to the muscle fiber whatever comes in next so now you can draw these diagrams in your practical notebooks with the help of the images that i have shown you here and also you can refer to the view that you had under the microscope for better images.